The one thing that we haven't hit on yet, which is arguably the toughest job of the sprint facilitator is keeping everyone on time. It's the most difficult part of running a sprint is that it's a packed agenda, especially if you have people that are very opinionated and bringing a lot of good ideas to the table, it's very easy to run over. So being respectful of people's time and making sure you're keeping the process moving is very difficult. Um, do you have any tips other than my favorite tip, which the book in sprint talks about all the time is using like an egg timer and having a yeah. physical or, or an actual device in the room, as well as a sound to trigger this, this has ended. We have five minutes and we're moving on to the next task. So I was pretty yeah. big whenever I facilitated sprints is really using a timer like religiously. Or alarm clock. Yeah. Like a physical one. Like, yep. Yeah. Cause again, it, it takes away um, pressure from the facilitator from being the bad person or the bad guy or whatever. Uh, Cause once the alarm goes right, we have to move on to the next activity. Uh, so yeah, but then you, the thing is as for the facilitator, you have to state those things up front. Look, I don't mean to be disrespectful. We have to move on. We have to cut it off. Um, because our time is finite. So if I say story, like, please forgive me now, you know, and so, but usually from my experience, people are quite understanding of that. Um, and again, like physical time is quite good for that sort of thing, but you know, and I suppose in terms of prototyping, I've used a uh, principle, which is quite good. Principle's awesome. In, 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 in vision Figma has now got like a prototyping utility that you can use, especially does really clever animation. Yep. But again, it, depending on what you're trying to do and the, the, the level for the, if it's a mobile thing, then principal and Figma, I think can export to mobile. Um, but when working on Chrome, that makes it very difficult because it's hard to prototype a browser because it's, it's like an operating system. It's very difficult to do, uh, but like Figma is pretty cool. Uh, and, but like, I think what you said, it's like, if you can do a desktop site in slides, then it allows different, like you can mimic, take, like take sh photo, uh, photographs of the paper prototype you created, and that's your blueprint for each slide. And then different people on the team can start mocking stuff up or making like the visuals uh, and making it believable enough. Cause there's this chart that I've seen of like prototypes where there's a point where you need to cross to make the prototype believable as a real thing. Otherwise, if it's black and white and gray, people think, oh, this is a broken thing. Right. I don't understand what I'm testing. So you want to make it believable enough, but then there's a point where you're focusing too much of the details of the design, visual stuff, which will not benefit in what you're trying to actually achieve when it comes to testing this thing. So slides are quite good from that because it's obviously a collaborative tool, but Figma now allows you to, to share the same file and have people working, but it does require some degree of expertise. Yeah, those would be my two recommendations. It's just slides and uh, Figma, real-time collaboration. Anything, anytime you can do that is the best. Uh, we also like shared notes are going to be huge. So sharing a Google Doc, easy way to just kind of track how each day is progressing. Having somebody that's great at note taking is also a huge benefit um, yeah. to the process. So at this point, we fully converged on the idea. Um, we built a prototype. Talk us through the last day. How do you make that fifth so, day as successful as possible? Even before you get to the prototyping at this point, say if you've got seven people in the room, you have to start designating tasks, All right? So yeah. the end result is you need, what you want is some feedback on an idea that you have. So how do I gather the correct feedback? Uh, when you're doing a usability study, you need to have like a script of questions that you're going to ask. That's the same for everybody. Uh, so someone needs to create the script based on the prototype that you're creating. And so that prototype becomes set in stone, unless something drastic changes where you realize actually we need to pivot. But ideally you do that before the fifth day. Uh, someone's going to work on the mocks. Someone's going to be working on finding the, in the interviewees. Preferably you've done that already. Uh, and it's basically getting the plan and everything else sorted. So you should, everyone should be delegated rather than two people sitting in front of a laptop, working on a prototype and everyone sitting back doing nothing. <laughs>